Okay, another problem. How about we try um, by request number 9B. This is from review set 2B. So 9B, they're giving us this um, basic graph. Uh, looks like some type of exponential thing. And it crosses right here at 2. So this is 0, 2. And it kind of blows up on this side. And on the other side, it starts to go down towards, it slowly tapers off and it's going to go down to, looks like eventually going to get down to zero. So they want us to find the inverse of that function. And first of all, it, it passes the, um, the what is it, the vertical line test, right? The vertical line test, we test it to make sure it has a full inverse. It does. So then we can draw that 45-degree uh, angle, that y equals x line and we know that it reflects across that so that's like it's good to know that but like I can't necessarily like automatically just see it I need some points to help me so we know one point for sure so the black is is the black curve let's make the other curve green so zero two in the black we go to two zero in the new in the inverted so let's plot two zero roughly so if that's zero two two zero is gonna be right about here so this black dot and this green dot are like smear images across that axis. We need a few more points. So this point here, they share. It's like kind of like 1-1. One, one or my, my drawing's not so great, but I think it's probably 1-1 one, one where they kind of meet. Um, and then let's get another point. Like, look what happens to over here to the left in the black graph over here. Let's look up the graph. Maybe... If we go to like th negative three, one, two, negative three looks like it's starting to climb up. So maybe negative three is up to three. Or maybe it's more like negative two. If it climbs quicker, I'm looking at the one official and they draw negative three, three is not too bad. So with the green, that's going to be three, negative three, right? The X and the Y's are going to invert. So if I were to graph three, negative three, that would be three over here and negative three be down here. Mmm, I'm starting to get a feel. Now let's let's gonna see on the black graph what's happening in this zone as it goes this way. So ooh, another message. So let's say as it starts to come down this tail, maybe we go this is two zero. I should label these plots. This is three negative three. And what about in the black, if this is 3, let's say in the black, when I get to 4, it's probably at about 1 by now. Even maybe a little less than that. But let's just say 4, 1. So in the green, that means 1 is going to go 4. So if I go to 1, it's going to jump up to 4. Uh-huh. So I think what's going to happen is... If you think of it this way, this guy, this black one, is going to go closer and closer to the x-axis, tapers off, so the green one's going to go closer and closer to the y-axis slowly. Over here, on the in this zone, the black one is growing away from the x-axis pretty rapidly. So this one's going to grow away from the y-axis pretty rapidly, so it's going to start to curve this way. So it's going to make like a mustache kind of thing. I don't know if you would... See that? Hopefully you can kind of visualize that. That's a good way to look at it. Uh, kind of see what's happening at the tail end of the original function. It's blowing up fast away from the um, x-axis, so therefore the green would blow up fast away from the y-axis. But I needed a few points along the way to help me kind of get that. So hopefully that will um, guide you on 9b.